can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me piercing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me swoon Our love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you all I can think is my summer love We're waiting for you, my love Good morning, everyone. This is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. Today is a Monday, May 3rd. I cannot believe we are in May already. Um, April went by way too fast. <laughs> so, I did post a little alert on my community that I did not get a video up this weekend at all. The whole weekend just kind of got away from me. Um, I was on a dead run to get this house spring cleaned. <laughs> Even though like two months ago I said I'm sprinkling in my house this way and in April, May, and June I don't have to do it. But I I wanted to get my carpets cleaned this weekend. They were so bad. We had spilled coffee on them. I have littles running around the house and there's things just spilled all over them and I couldn't handle it anymore. So Friday was just a normal normal day. I videoed, or I, I recorded a video and I showed you my updates and that sort of thing. And then Friday night I did some stitching and watched a good movie, which everybody's been asking me. I was watching The Queen's Gambit on um, Netflix. Excellent series. It's just a mini series. It's just one, one year. Um, excellent, excellent series. So if you have a chance to watch that, it's, it's very, very good. Um, so that is the show that I was like totally addicted to and wanted to sit down and watch, finish watching on Friday night. So I did that. And then Saturday, um, with the weather being nice, my son works a lot more and my daughter-in-law has to work one day a weekend. She has to work every Saturday. So I had the babies for a little bit and then I was just itching to get those carpets clean. So while I had the babies, I was like clearing out the living room and moving furniture and of course, 99% of it ends up in my sewing room because that's the only spare, really spare room. So clean the carpets and then we went out to dinner. We went with up to my stepson's bar up in the next town and visited with them. And then the next day, I, so yesterday I got up and there were still some spots on the carpet. <clears throat> so I, I, you know, I re-shampooed some of those hard to remove spots, got those out Got the house somewhat back in order, but my room right now, my sewing room is just full. Um, I can barely even walk in it because there's so much of the living room furniture still in it because I'm waiting for those floors, that floor to dry. So the weekend just absolutely got away from me. <clears throat> it was beautiful here. I finished washing windows and, and stuff. So I did very little personal stitching. So I've... I have a few things to show you, a few things to go over, but um, it's going to be a relatively quick video today. <laughs> so, the Happy Mail um, or the giveaway drawings, everybody was like, um, we really wanted to continue the Happy Mail, whatever that it, whatever was convenient for me was fine with everybody else. Everybody's so loving and generous and giving and stuff like that. So, I'm going to continue to do the Happy Mail. Um, I'm going to do it a little differently this month. So when we reach a hundred comments, <clears throat> I will draw a winner. And depending on how many comments we have will be depending on how, like the size of the, the Happy Mail package. <clears throat> so if we have a hundred comments, it's just going to be a greeting card style. If we have 200 comments, it's going to be a little bit bigger. And if we have 300 or more, it's going to be like a, a little bit larger package. Um, I know a lot of people were worried about the cost of postage on my end. I'm not worried about the cost of postage. Um, there have been so many people generously um, sending me patterns and things for giveaways that um, I really want to use them and pass them forward to all of you. Um, and some of them are full size patterns and they won't fit in a small gift or greeting card envelope. So when we reach those milestones on comments, I'm going to just continue. The package will get larger and larger and larger. So um, please don't stress about this cost of postage. It's not a big deal for me. Even overseas, it's really 
really not that much. Um, I was pleasantly surprised that it really does not cost that much to ship overseas when it's flat, flat packages. So um, continue to like and continue to comment. Continue. We're going to do happy mail a little bit differently this month, but it is going to be great. I've got some great stuff for giveaways and I'm so excited and we're going to do this every video. <clears throat> so every video throughout the month of May and we're going to do it that way. How's that sound? Because I have a huge pile of stuff to give away. The other thing is um, Annie, the proper stitcher, and I are going to be doing a stitch long. She films on Thursdays, so she is probably going to make the announcement on her video or on her floss tube channel this Thursday. I will either video on Thursday or Friday and make the announcement on um, my video so that you guys know what the pro um, project is going to be, when it's going to start, all the details of it. Um, the great thing about this um, stitch along is Annie is very in tune with Instagram and I'm not I, I just haven't really figured out the Instagram thing so I think she's going to do the Instagram end of it so if you're interested in posting pictures and things more on Instagram you can get involved there I am more of a Facebook person so I have started a, a Facebook group specifically for my channel um, anybody can join. It's kind of an open forum and stuff like that. But I am going to be announcing giveaways and pictures and that sort of thing over on Facebook. Now, if you are neither, you don't have Facebook, you don't do Instagram, my email is always linked below. Always, always, always. Do not feel like you have to post on one of those um, venues to get involved. You can send me your pictures and everything to get into drawings and um, all those things through my email and I will definitely add your names to the list and we'll definitely look at your pictures and um, you, you can be involved that way. So I think we have um, ironed out all the wrinkles and this is going to be our first stitch along so it's going to be great. So stay tuned Thursday, Friday or check out um, Annie's video this week and we're going to get that announced and it will be starting June 1st so that you have a time to get all your supplies and everything that you may need together. Okay, so <clears throat> my finishes for April were very slim. Hang on, I got my coffee here this morning. Um, I did not get very much done. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I finished my sampler girl too, which I was close to a finish um, at the beginning, or the end of Feb, March, March, my months are all mixed up. But so I finished that. I did a prairie schooler sampler. I altered four prom dresses this month and I finished two t-shirt quilts. So it's not a huge list. Some bigger projects, I guess. Um, I was procrastinating a lot this month. So I am carrying into the month of May um, my hometown, which I did not get any stitching done on that this weekend, so I'm not even going to show it, and Carriage House Sampler, which I'm going to show you right now. I did get some stitching on it last night just because it's, it's at the point where it's just filling. So this is where I'm at with Carriage House Sampler. I'm filling in this bottom part, then I have to fill in the feed store and this door, and then it will be done. And it is an adorable stitch. And this is going to be good for me this week um, with work. It's going to be a little bit of a busier week at work. Uh, so this is kind of where I am at with that. So I've had lots of comments on what colors to do this. I am going to pick out a lighter tan, tannish, a goldy kind of tan, but it's going to be more more brown than yellow. There's a lot of yellow or a lot of gold in this piece and it kind of like gold can it can scream after a while. Um, it's a very bold color and it can it can take over a piece relatively quickly. So I will be working on this. Um, my work week this week is kind of different. Um, we have a girl that's out sick so I will be working probably Monday through Thursday, so it may be real hit or miss whether you see me or not this week um, because I am going to be filling in a little extra at the office. 
So, happy mail. Um, pretty exciting. Christy sent another huge box of happy mail, charts and fabric and all sorts of little kits in there and stuff like that. And I kind of glanced through it, but I really did not have time to go through it, go through it. It's sitting in my sewing room waiting um, for me to go through it. And there's going to be lots of giveaway stuff in there. And um, I'm very, very excited about that. Thank you, Christy, for that second boss box of stuff. I, I so appreciate it all. And tell your elderly friend, thank you so much. It's always, it's always wonderful when people... It's not wonderful when people have to decide that they can't stitch anymore. That's that's a very heartbreaking thing. But when they decide that they're going to pass on their stash to the next generation. And I think we kind of all do that. We look at that next younger generation and go, oh, let's get them started. Or here's some stuff that I'm not going to do. And let's keep them going um, and get them. And that's how the art continues on. It, it really is. So I, I, I always love it when I see these young 20-somethings, even teenagers and 20-somethings, um, picking up the needle and thread in any way or form, whether it be cross-stitch or quilting or knitting or crocheting or any art, um, any craft that they love to do. I, I love watching it. So, um, so again, I'm babbling. It's early this morning. It's 6 o'clock this morning. And I, I'm babbling. So thank you very much. And then Becky um, paid forward a couple charts that she bought duplicates of. And we've all been, we're all guilty of that, aren't we? Um, so she paid forward flea market flowers. And I think I have another one of these too. So one of these will definitely be a giveaway at some point um, in the next couple of months, whether it be for the Happy Mail or the... Um, stitch along so and then she sent this a cute one I had never seen this and my boys um and my boys and my ex-husband were very much baseball people so I just it brought back nice little flashbacks to when um, my boys were little and they had baseball rooms so and this is uh bring me out to the ball game or take me out to the ball game isn't that adorable So this is one that I, I would never stitch, um, so it will get paid forward. Um, it's early. It will get paid forward at some point. So Becky, thank you so much. Um, I so appreciate the thoughtfulness. Um, everybody who's sent cards and happy mail and stuff like that, it's been so much fun this month. Um, when I started sending out the happy mail, I did not think I was gonna be getting so much in return. And, and that was okay, I was good with that. Um, but it's been a blast. It's been a blast. I look forward to the mail every single day. Um, so it's been great. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have gained, um, this channel has gained over 600 subscribers this month. So we are growing fast. So what I thought I would do is kind of do like a mid-year, quarter year kind of, um, parade of what's in my happy basket and for many of those many of you who have uh, been with me for a long long time or since the beginning know I am a monogamous stitcher so I only have two projects going at a time one is a bigger project that's in my hoop and one is a smaller project that is my tv time project I will also usually have a quilt project going and a knitting project going my knitting is usually only in the car when we're traveling so I don't do a whole lot of knitting my quilting and sewing, it all depends on how much commission work I have on the table as to what goes on there. But my cross stitch, I always only have two projects going. So my happy basket is projects that I have kitted up, ready to go for the year. And um, these are things I want to get accomplished maybe this year, maybe next year. There's no time frame on any of them. So I'm going to go through what is left in my happy basket for the year that I would like to see done. Now, some of them are fall projects, so they kind of keep getting overlooked um, until I'm feeling fall again, which is okay. And some of them are smaller, some of them are larger, and that's okay too, depending on where I'm at. So I'm gonna go through my happy basket, um, just so you guys can see some stitchy stuff. 
because we all love stitchy stuff. Um, the first one is this Heart and Hand November. And I love these smalls. I love making them into little pillows and um, tucking them all over or um, matting them up and putting them on little mounts. So um, smalls are great. So that's what I want to do. And they're going back in the happy basket. The next one is Without a Mouse. And this is a Blackbird design. And that's another small. I have that all kitted up. That is another small. And I'm really looking forward to that one. This one might come out sooner than later. Um, just because sometimes when I'm doing a pretty intense pattern, those single color little charts are, are great. Those are so much fun to do. Um, the next one is Hey Pumpkin. And this is by... It's So Emma. And I thought that was adorable. And that one I am doing on really big fabric. I'm going to be doing that on a 10 count. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to turn this one into like um, a pillow pillow for fall. And then this one is Cranberry Christmas. And I know this one, I'm trying to keep it the glare off. Cranberry Christmas. And this one got really, was really popular at the end of last year for 2020 and this is an artful offerings so that is all kitted up and ready to go another artful offerings I love their charts I am really addicted to their charts this one is a folly farmstead and I just love that bird or not bird I love the animals the bird the pig and the cow but the barn is what's calling me the barn is truly calling me um for that so I'm looking forward to doing that one and then some of these last ones are bigger projects um my plan is to do Betsy's autumn and I've had this one kitted up for most of the year again this might be one of my bigger projects that I kind of put off until fall and then work on it I like to stitch in season um and that could be the question of the day today do you stitch in season or do you stitch ahead so that you can have your project fully finished for the season? So, stitch in season or fully finished for the season? Um, I like to stitch in season and then I usually have them fully finished for the, the, the next year. Um, because I have so many like fully finished projects that are already that I get to enjoy every year that I bring them out. So I like to stitch in season. Um, and, and being a quilter, I'm always working ahead. Um, when I'm doing commissioned quilts, I'm always working on the season ahead. And th that can be exhausting. It, it, it can be very tiresome. So like right now, I should be working on Christmas quilts. To get them done so that those are ready for the season um at christmas time i'm working on spring stuff and then you're just really not feeling that season but you know you got to get those that work done so stitching is one of those things that i like to do in season and then i enjoy the fully finished project next year um this is another sampler and i will be itching to do a, a sampler pretty soon and this is by canterbury designs and it's a live today sampler and I'm actually going to be doing the one on darker fabric. And I changed up the colors a little bit because I'm not a blue person. So I changed out a lot of the blues to more of a green. So. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Back in my basket. And then. Let me, sorry about the crinkle. This is another sampler. And this is. Um. Amaryllis Artworks, Denise Harriet Harrington Pratt. And this is Valley Sheep. And they have it with the alphabet and without the alphabet. And I think I'm going to do it with the alphabet. I like that. That's a nice traditional, um, nice traditional sampler. So that is on my list for this year. And then I have Heaven and Nature Sing. 
by Kathy Barrick. If you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Kathy Barrick fan. I love Carriage House Samplings. I love Kathy Barrick. Um, I just, her, her de designs, the, the primitive and the quirkiness of them just draw me in. And the colors and just everything about them just pulls me right in. So I have that this one that I would like to get up. Um, and I know this is kind of a Christmas theme, but it will probably stay up in my house all winter. It might stay up in my house all year. I don't know. I really love this one. Once I get this one done, because it is so big, um, it's going to stay up for a long time. And then my last one that I want to work on is... And this is two. This is um, the Chester Chester County Collections. I love these charts. Um, they're from the 80s, and they're great. So any chance I get to, to grab one of these, I, I do. Um, I know, uh, I forget her first name. Christy from Daisy Cake Primitives. She's collecting these also. Um, so if you... If you don't watch her, which everybody in the world watches her because she's wonderful, go over because she tends to show her Chester County collection off quite a bit. She's been collecting them and I'm, I go over and I watch and I ooh and ah. <laughs> and I, I just love them. So this one is Elizabeth Oatley and Hannah Bunting. And I am planning on doing both of those because they're both very different. I'm going to pull this one up. Will it focus? I can't tell if it's focused or not because I don't have my glasses on and my contacts don't work that well. So I do love these, but I do have to be in the in the mood to do um, letters and words. So, so that is all for my plans for this this year. Um, and my plans for me are to keep plugging away on um, my hometown, and that is because I really want to I. This stitch along is a, is a larger piece. It's going to be like a six month stitch along. So it's a larger piece. And I am really nervous that if I have two large pieces going at one time, one is going to languish in, in a corner. And I don't like to do that. So, um, so I really want to have my hometown done this month, um, which is pretty close to doable. I'm about halfway done right now, and I started at the beginning of April. So um, I, I'm not seeing a problem with that. It's it's stitching up a lot faster than I had planned. And so I'll have that stitch along going. And But that one I'm going to have to pace myself. I can't, I'm not going to be able to just finish it in a month. Otherwise, what's the fun of stitching along with you guys? So I have lots of plans for the year. I have uh, lots of plans for May. Um... Camping season is going to be starting here pretty soon, so we're going to be on the road more. You might see more of me from my camper, which is okay, um, and in my travels. And all of our plans, kind of, my husband is so adorable. All of our vacation and our camping plans are being revolved around needlework stores and quilt stores so that I can take you guys on tours of needlework stores. So... <laughs> Everything we have mapped out, um, we're going on vacation this month. Um, we're going to be leaving like on the 19th and we'll be gone until the 1st of June. So you're going to see me from the camper a lot that week. But everywhere we go, he's kind of like side steering off the off the beaten path or off our, our original route because he's like, well, there's a cross stitch store in this town. We could stop over there. And there's a quilt store in this town. We could stop over there. And there's a yarn store in this town. We could stop over there. So who knows? But um, he's a good man. <laughs> and he's happy to walk behind me with either my phone or the GoPro. <laughs> so we have lots planned for this year. So I am off to work this morning. Um, sorry about the early morning, but I am off to work and I do not know when I will see you next Thursday at the absolute latest. Okay. So that we can announce that stitch along. Everyone stay tuned. Everyone have a good week and everyone be kind, spread love and find peace.